We're just going to take uh, this off. Basically, this just holds the track together. Good thing about this wall is that the mounting plates are already fixed. Like so. Well, it's like that. Yeah. Another great thing about this tool is that the handle is already pre cut, so there'd be no worries about cutting it right. Probably want to cut the door in before you actually install the whole thing. Make sure that the wheels line up and this one sits in here too also. Obviously lined up the wall so you can go to your line. Two as the studs come out of the practice, you can pop this. We can pack this side to suit. The floor is actually out of level, so if we don't adjust, depending on which side it's going to be out of level, we want to make sure that um, that the track is actually level otherwise the door is going to be out a little plumb. I'm going to pack this side up and put a screw in here um, and then that should follow with plumbing. As long as your area is flush so you allow for your jib. I'm going to either use H packers or you can use uh, timber packers. Pre drill my packers so they don't split. Um, Level that across, brings this open edge plumb. This open here, about 729. It should be at 729. You can use the uh, heat jam, um, so that goes in there like that. You can also use this now at the bottom. Our concrete slab was out. Just have to make sure that you pack it so it doesn't pull it before we screw this down. Want to make sure that it's all you know, this wall lines up with this truck. So basically, when you close your door, it's going to line into here and it's going to be like a nice, even gap. Now we're going to set the activator, so basically you're going to make sure that these are a little bit looser, just a little allen key. Basically once you tighten them off, they're going to tighten on the actual track. I'm going to slip it in here. There you go. Fit it in there and then you tighten it up first so it doesn't move. Close the door slowly. Oh, now that it's uh, spring loaded, um, we're going to set it up to its final position. We're going to undo it a little bit just so we can slide it down. Just going to set the activator up. This is the distance exactly where the activator wants to be. Close the door. You can hear it as soon as it hits there. Pull the door back. Let's see how this finishes. Don't hold. Oh, beautiful.